This is Michael Abonico, uh, and this is a video that's going to go over how to navigate the RCAT project folder and layer packages. Um, so if you open up your RCAT project folder, in this case the Escalane project folder, there's going to be several subfolders within that one. Uh, it's going to include your layer packages, your uh, RCA project structure, um, you'll see your inputs and your outputs here, and this contains all the shape files and raster files that we use to run the RCAT tools. Um, you're going to have your RVD project structure, similar format with your inputs and your outputs, uh, as well as the VBET project structure. Um, and there's also a summary products folder. Uh, within that folder, um, there's going to be some uh, map-based files uh, you can look at that summarize the RCAT outputs. Um, but let's go ahead and go over these uh, layer packages here. So you just pull these in um, to ARC here, and mine are already up there. So uh, when you're expanding each of these group layers, just make sure you turn on the header of each group layer as you go down so you can see the outputs. Uh, um, and I'll go over the structure of these layer packages here. So in that uh, Escalani RCAT layer package here, we've got the outputs and the inputs, and I'll start with these inputs here. Um, so uh, in the topography inputs, uh, it'll include your hill shade, which is clipped to the Huck 8 watershed. Um, we'll have our DEM, and you can use these as a good reference um, for all the other inputs. Uh, we'll have our uh, slope raster and our drainage area um, and these are specifically derived from the valley bottom extraction tool um, and the DEM is an input of the valley bottom extraction tool here. Um, now let's go to our network as well. So this is our uh, current uh, perennial network of that Escalante watershed um, and it's segmented into 500 meter segments for the uh, RCAT analysis. Um, there's this sub networks, uh, network subdivisions here uh, and that's because this specific RCAT run uh, was run in two different parts. Um, based on uh, the vegetation data that we had. Uh, there's the uh, the upper Escalante watershed and the lower Escalante watershed. Um, and when we get to the outputs, I'll show you that you can look at these individually. Uh, I just included them in here for your reference. Uh, and then you have your valley bottom. Uh, Here, um, uh, this is the this is actually an output of the valley bottom extraction tool, uh, but it is an input for the RCAT tools. Um, and then we have these uh, facing polygons, um, and this comes from the valley bottom, as well as the network uh, it's segmented by the network, and. Uh, you can zoom in here and see, uh, this refreshes a bit, um, how it's segmented. Um, so you can look at each part of the valley bottom as the uh, out outputs are segmented as well. So you can, <laughs> yeah, you can look at how it's, it's analyzed individually in these parts here. 
and then we have our vegetation inputs here. So we have, uh, for this run, we have a land fire vegetation uh, as well as a high resolution vegetation. Um, so I'll go over this land fire one. We have an existing vegetation and a historic pre-European vegetation. I'll open these guys up here. Uh, really cool thing about this structure here is it's really easy to compare the two. Um, we have several different, um, zoom out so we can see the whole watershed. Uh, it's broken down into uh, several different attributes um, depending on how specific you want to see the data. Um, yeah, so now that it's zoomed out here. Yeah, so like I said before, uh, we've got different attributes for each of these vegetation layers. Um, and it's a great way to like compare the existing vegetation with the historic vegetation. Um, so just make sure that you click on each header uh, and uh, if you're comparing the two similar types of um, Uh, the two similar types of attributes in each vegetation layer. It's really easy to compare these. It's kind of sweet, um, as you can see here. Uh, we also have this here. Um, the uh, riparian vegetation. So this is like specifically just looking at the riparian vegetation in the watershed. Um, it's pretty sweet to be able to go back and forth and look at the changes here. Um, so that is the vegetation layer there for the land fire. And then there's also this high resolution one. Uh, this is the full high resolution data here for the watershed. Uh, if you open this up, it'll give you a little bit more information on um, the legend, on the legend of each color. And there's also a riparian layer for the high resolution data. Uh, and then uh, this floodplain access. So this is a an input for uh, RCA specifically. Uh, this comes from the valley bottom uh, as well as a uh, road and uh, railroad layer. Uh, if you zoom into this area, for example, it'll show you which parts of the floodplain are connected and which parts are disconnected. Uh, you can see here that the green is connected and the red is disconnected. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's just a little bit of an overview with the inputs. Um, here is our outputs. Uh, for RCA here, um, if you right click and go to properties. Uh, it'll pull up the uh, metadata within the description of the uh, this layer file here. Yeah, so now that this properties window is open, yeah, in the, the general tab, uh, if you look at the description here, it just goes, has a description of like how these outputs are derived and um, it's for your information there. So uh, this is the uh, RCA output. Um, zoom out a little bit so we can look at the entire watershed again. Yeah, so uh, this network, you know, it's segmented into 500 meter segments and 
you can see what each color means here uh, if you expand uh, this layer um, and um, you can also go to these intermediates here uh, the floodplain accessibility is derived from the within these um, uh, where is it? The inputs here. So if you look at this and you go to the floodplain access, um, the network is assigned values based on the floodplain connectivity here. Uh, and that is um, how the uh, floodplain accessibility is derived here. Um, we also have a uh, land use intensity based on the vegetation data. Um, uh, it'll, oh, if you expand this up, it'll show you um, the high intensity, moderate intensity, and low intensity throughout the network. Um, and then if you expand here, this is the, uh, uh, the RVD output, the riparian vegetation departure. Um, and this will show you, yeah, what each color means here as well. So large departure, significant departure, minor departure, negligible, negligible departure, and as well as our riparian vegetation conversion type. Uh, let's turn that on. Yeah. Uh, and so the cool thing about this uh, this layer package here is you can open up uh, several layers at the same time. Um, so here and here uh, gives you some some more context to look at each layer individually, or uh, or you can look at the the floodplain layer as well. While you're going through and checking out like why these values are assigned um, to the network. Uh, so it's a, a pretty fun interactive way to look at all these outputs and inputs together. Um, uh, another useful thing that I've included in this layer package here is the these context layers. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's got uh, NAPE imagery of Utah. Um, it'll pull that up. You can also uh, include you know, any of the layers all together as well. Um, this is uh, Huck boundaries. And we've got contours and shady relief. Um, just to give you context for where we are and what we're looking at. Sweet. So uh, there's also included in this uh, these layer packages. Uh, I have uh, an Escalante RV D layer package, uh, and this is just like a, a simplified version uh, of the RCAT. Um, it just excludes all the RCA uh, inputs and outputs. Um, yeah, so if you open this one up, the Escalante RVD, um, like I said, it just has the uh, inputs for the riparian vegetation departure, uh, similar uh, topography inputs, uh, similar vegetation inputs. Uh, the network and uh, valley bottom and um, and just the RVD outputs uh, yeah so that's how you navigate the uh, RCAT layer packages in uh, RCAT project structure